This weekend, hundreds of Powerball players are coming to New York City for a chance during a drawing here on Channel 7 on Dick Clark's New Year's Rock and Eve with Ryan Seacrest to become the first millionaire lottery winner of 2020. And among them is a widow from Brooklyn who says she has spent about $100,000 over the last 50 years playing the lottery. Here's Nina Pineda. I was in shock. I never win anything. Marie Lusardi's luck changed with a phone call. Hello? Telling her on New Year's Eve, she could become 2020's newest millionaire. I thought it was a joke and I hung up on the person. She soon learned she won because she's a loser. Powerball selected more than 300 losing lottery tickets for its second chance drawing. It's the losing tickets, okay. which I have plenty of. <laughs> and they're gonna pick you up in a limo. Yes. She and her niece who entered her Aunt Marie in the contest get whisked off to New York City for a VIP experience. I'm going to New York City. Seven stops on the F train. <laughs> Marie's family came back to Brooklyn from Italy when she was just a child. 1955, I came. Okay. She worked for the Department of Justice and the U.S. Attorney's Office as a legal secretary for almost 40 years. I worked since I'm 17. Marie recently lost her husband of 35 years, Lewis. Would he be proud of you? Oh, he'd think I was crazy. <laughs> he'd know I was crazy. You good? Marie now shares her home with three rescued cats and an extensive Beanie Baby and cat figurine collection. What would you do with the money? Well, let's see. A trip to Tahiti and donations to local children's and animal charities are tops, but even if her name's not drawn for the million at midnight, she still considers herself a winner. Whether I win or I lose, it's still really nice that I got to do something fun. In the Kensington section of Brooklyn, Nina Pineda, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Well, can you imagine? By the way, we've posted more information on the first Powerball Millionaire of the Year drawing at ABC 7 NY. And on Sunday, they will announce a small group of finalists. We're going to stream that announcement live on our website. And then.